Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, word problems predominantly where you have to form quadratic equations and solve them. All right, so let's have a look at the first question. We've got a negative number has two added to it and then and is then squared giving a result of 16. What is the number? So the first tip I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this down as let x be the number, all right, be the unknown number. And then from there, I'm going to start forming the equation, and then I'm going to try and solve it. So I've got x is the unknown number. Now x is, has 2 added to it, so x plus 2, and then is, is then squared. So I can put it as is then squared, giving a result of 16. So all this is equal to 16. So now I need to solve this uh, and then figure out what this uh, unknown number is. So as usual, the first step is going to be to expand this quad, um, quadratic. All right, and then once I expand it, um, I can start playing around with it where I equal one of the sides to zero and solve. So expanding this, I've got x times x, which is x squared. Uh, two times x is two x. Uh, I've got two x again, and I have two times two, which is four and all this equals 16. So what I have is x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 16. Now shifting the 16 uh, to the left hand side so I can make this quadratic equals to 0, uh, I will end up with 4 minus 16 equals 0. Simplifying this I have x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. So at this point, I'm looking for two numbers that is going to multiply to negative 12 and the same two numbers adding to positive 4, which is uh, negative 2 and positive 6, negative 2 and positive 6. That should work out for me. So I've got x minus 2 multiplied by, by x plus 6, and that is equal to 0. So, as usual, guys, if you had seen the previous videos in this series, you know that one of these brackets has to equal zero. So, I've either got, let's see, sorry, I've either got x minus 2 equals to zero or x plus 6 equals zero. So, in my first case, I've got x equals to 2, and in my second case, 0 minus 6, that's negative 6. I actually have got two answers for this question. I've got one of the answers for x is 2 and the other answer for the x is negative 6. So which answer is the correct answer? And to, to, to fully understand or to fully answer this question, I have to go back to the question itself. The very first part where it says a negative number has 2 added to it. So for this particular question, the answer I'm looking for is negative 6. That is the answer. Even though we have two answers, we've got a positive answer and a negative answer, the question only ask, asking you what is that negative number. So it's negative 6. Cool. Let's have a look at another, another question, a, a similar word question, and actually work through it, folks. So in this question, we have two numbers have a difference of 3. One is x, the other is x plus 3. Form a quadratic equation and solve it to find the two numbers if the sum of their squares is 29. So basically what we have is we've got two numbers. We've got x and we've got x plus 3. Now it says form a quadratic equation, solve it to find the two numbers if the sum, so this part here, if the sum of their squares, so basically their squares equals... Uh, 29. So that's what we're looking at. So what are we going to do in this case, folks? Simple as what we've always done. Expand the quadratic and then put the right-hand side equal to 0 and then factorize and solve. So x squared, well, that's nothing. We're just going to leave it as it is. And then now we've got x plus 3 squared. So we've got x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 and that equals 29. And continuing on with this, so we're going to get x squared plus, expand the brackets out, so we're going to get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, 
and that equals 29. So collecting all the like terms and simplifying this, I'm going to get 2x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 29. Now obviously I want to have a quadratic that equals to 0. So I'm going to shift the 29 to the left hand side, making it minus 29. And so this equals to 0. So what I've got now is I've got 2x squared plus 6x minus 20 equals 0. Now from this point, guys, now remember we talked about this in uh, factorizing quadratics. Uh, if you are not sure about this, go back in the series of these videos. And I've done a couple where you can actually solve um, factorized quadratics using common factor or when coefficient of x squared is greater than 1. Now, we're lucky in this case because we can look at these numbers and all of them are even numbers. So I could take out 2 as a common factor and end up with 2x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Now, because of the 2, what I could do is then x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0 divided by 2. And 0 divided by 2, well, that's just 0. So we've got x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Now, at this point, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to minus 10 and the same two numbers adding up to positive 3. They can see that it's 5 and negative 2, 5 and negative 2. So here, I have factorized this as x plus 5 times x minus 2 equals 0. And from here, as usual, guys, I know the green part is equal to 0 or the red part is equal to 0. So I've got x plus 5 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0, which means x in this case is negative 5, x in the other case is positive 2. Cool. So what's important to know in this question is that they didn't actually say any positive numbers or negative numbers. So to fully answer this question, you've actually got two sets of answers. All right. The first answer that you could have is that your first number is 2 and your second number is 5. Or the second lot of answers that you could have is your first number is negative 5 and your second number is negative 2. So there's actually two answers for this type uh, for this particular question or two sets of answers. Anyway, guys, that's it for this session. Uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching this video.